What's up, 502 crew? Welcome back to the channel. Ty, Ryan, Nick, back as always with another reaction. But first, if you would like to join the 502 crew, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps the channel grow and helps us reach more people. And please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right. So, I brought a band that I actually never heard of to the channel today. My father had requested this. Just wanted to let that be known that we want to stick to our roots every now and again. So, old Pops has requested Firehouse. Have you ever heard of Firehouse? Firehouse subs. Yeah, that's see, that's what I thought. <laughs> There's a uh, gym in Indiana called Firehouse. Okay, hmm. well, this isn't it. Uh, this is band. an American rock band formed in Richmond, Virginia. We never had anyone from Virginia. Again, uh, the Richmond Spiders. Yeah. Oh. So before they moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. Hmm. So they actually reside in two places here. Uh, they were signed to Epic Rec uh, Records in 1989. Epic Records has been on a lot of our reactions. Yes, epic. Yeah, they're pretty epic. Uh, they re reached some stardom in the early 90s. Uh, got a lot of songs on here. It says here that their genre is heavy metal, glam metal, hard rock. Been active since the 89, still present. So, the success is there. Mm -hmm. uh, they got like seven albums, I see. Yeah, seven or eight. Uh, still touring. They've had a few different guys. It says uh, the current members are CJ Snare. Oh, and he's not the drummer. Yeah, Come that's kind of that's kind of oh, that would have been perfect. But uh, Bill Leverty, Michael Foster, Alan McKenzie, and they also have three other former members. So, okay. uh, yeah, I actually don't know anything about these guys. Like I said, so yeah, none of us do. Yeah, we've never heard of this. But what? today we're going to do a love of a lifetime. <laughs> we were going to do this for the uh, what? What was it? The uh, love song marathon? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. were going to do it then. Kind of ran out of time. So we're going to go back, because actually there's been a lot of people wanting to go back into the love song thing. People love love songs. Yeah. Love songs are massive. That's right. Correct. Correct. So we're just going to dive right into this thing. Firehouse. Love of a lifetime. Uh-oh. Sounds like the beginning of a movie. Oh, he's got two guitars. I guess the time was right for us to see. We take our time and live our lives together day by day. Make a wish and send it out a prayer. We know our dreams can all come true. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, about, <laughs> about what I expected. Yeah, yeah, definitely what I expected. Yeah, um, I kind of get the vibe. He kind of sounds like the guy from Guns N' Roses. Axl Slightly. Rose. Yeah, it's just like the mm. ah, like the kind of yeah, I mean, riminess, I, I Yeah, guess. there's there's something there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's not too. Crazy. It's it's kind of like high pitch, is what I'm saying. Like I actually wasn't expecting his voice to sound like that. Yeah, it is kind of different sounding. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this has the classic setup of one of those yes. 80s power, love 80s, 90s ballads, type. You know, 
Like you, you know when the chorus is coming in. Everyone knows the chorus, and you know, it's one <laughs> yeah. of those put your lighter up, like yeah. you were doing. This um, is when they turn the lights to like purple or something. Yeah, and then like if you have a lover with you, you know, make some noise. <laughs> this one's for you. The kiss cam. <laughs> something yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is that type of song. You've never been on the kiss cam, have you? No. Okay. I ha- I've tried to be on any type of cam at a game. <laughs> I just can't get on the camera. Yeah. I guess you're not silly enough. I'm trying to just do something to get on the camera. <laughs> right, right, right. I always just sit on the wrong side. That's what it is. So, it, again, this sounds like a very predictable song. Doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I've just noticed that there are a ton of 80s songs like this. Yeah. They're this was big hard. back then. So like, yeah, this type of style, I guess a lot of bands just yeah. wanted to do. This has you know? 60 million views on YouTube. Yeah. This is crazy. So to me, these type of songs, they must be guilty pleasures for people. Yeah. It, it just, you know, maybe it's just because they grew up in this era and they heard yeah. a lot of these songs on the radio and it just nostalgia. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Like I bet if you went to like 80s love songs, this would this these type of songs would be just one after another yeah. if you're listening to like a playlist or something. Yeah. And it's not that I dislike these songs. You know, to me, they're all just kind of fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, uh, you know, t- there are some frozen pizzas where I'm like, this isn't amazing or anything. It's just fine. But you it's know, pizza. I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah. It's pizza. I'll eat it. So when somebody says, oh, this is such you know, a fantastic song, you got to listen to this 80s power <laughs> melon. I'm like, well, slow down, okay? <laughs> you know. It's no fine. disrespect, though. No, no disrespect. It's fine. And there's nothing wrong with being just fine. I said this when we did Tesla. Yeah. Just because... This reminds me of Tesla. Yeah, you're not going to love everything you hear. And to me, these type of songs, for me, are just... They're fine. Yeah. That's just my opinion. So... But we love the chorus. Yeah. There's the chorus on these songs, though, are always great. I will say that. Yeah. I never yeah. really loved the verses on these, like, power ballad songs that we yeah. were talking about. But I always love the freaking uh, choruses. And the yeah. backup vocals are always good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, even sure. me, I love love songs. Yeah. But this is okay. This is okay for me. It's okay. Yeah. But you never know. You know, there could be But some... you will be singing this later tonight. <laughs> don't don't get that twisted. You like that guitar. Break it down. 
Thank you. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Gotta admit, it is catchy. Yeah, the the chorus. Like I will be singing that sometime later today. Yeah, yeah. And we just harmonize right there. I will say that. I mean, I don't have too much else to say. I basically gave my thoughts about the song. You know, it's fine. It is exactly what. You know, this this era was doing. Yeah. Everybody was doing this. Yeah. Hey, 80s hair bands. Is there anything in here that I think is spectacular? No. Do I really hate anything? No. No, I don't hate anything. In it's song. right down the middle for me. So yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. It just, yeah. hey, it just is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so, good. What do you think, Ryan? Yeah, like I said, it, it's okay to me. It's, you know, but you will be seeing it later. Admit that. See you later. You will be like somewhere down the line. You're gonna be like, I might. Mm-hmm. I be getting them random verses in my head sometimes yeah. at work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're just gonna be moving boxes, and eventually you're just gonna be like, it's a very, it's a very sweet song. I will say that you know the message. You know, I finally found the woman of my dreams. Yeah, yeah. So very sweet. But yeah, that is the end of the video, guys. Please tell us what you thought about that song. We love. Hearing your feedback, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Peace Peace out. out.